Mm. Pumping your tyre in the rain. Stuff of dreams, everybody. Won't be saying this much longer because it is red hot in America. Yes, hello everyone. Hope you're doing all right. It's currently 7 a.m. 7 a.m. man. Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17? Bye bye, rain. Bye bye. Okay, everyone. So I have arrived. Uh, it's absolutely chucking down in Manchester. I bottled this. Suitcase is doing there. I'm getting the tram in. I totally literally one or two stops, but it's absolutely chucking it down and I'm drenched. Look at this. I am drenched. There we go. Here comes the tram. Manchester Airport. Very busy, a lot of people on the travels today. Right, so I'm in the airport. That was a lot easier than what I thought. Two stops. First time though, I've ever got the tram in the Manchester airport, which I have flew from several times, but that was fairly easy. So I've got to get rid of. So I'm munching my cookies now because I'm gonna to have to get rid of them. They're not daft at Manchester rather. Make your walk through shops because you want to buy. But got through checking all right. I was one of the lucky ones that didn't get picked on, so I was straight through. Happy days. So just outside the JD shop. Bit funny like loads of Man United tops. But there's no Manchester United fans in Manchester. So people are waiting for the flight, but check this out. Car hanging in the air. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So just sitting at the front. I'm waiting for Aer Lingus to turn up. Uh, you might have seen me video yesterday where I was just talking about what's coming up on the channel. And uh, we've got loads and loads of stuff, by the way, in America. Steve is already on his way to Philadelphia, so he's effectively 10, 11 hours in front of me. So he's, he's already basically in Philly. Um, but I, um, loads and loads of stuff. Looking forward to bringing you some daft stuff challenges that I'm doing with Steve. Uh, going to do some stuff with Americans as well, get their opinions on football as well as culture, British. Of course, we've got the big thing, the reason why I'm going over there is for the two. But at least I'm in Manchester and it was a short uh, journey across to Dublin and then uh, got to hang around there for three hours, so I'll be getting football Manchester. Question for you at home. Do you still have the red passport or do you have the black one? Some of my stamps on here are like Egypt, Saudi. I still have the USA one on there. Let me know, what colour passport do you have? It's quite a small plane, isn't it? But it is only Dublin. Laptop bags should be stowed in the area underneath the seat in front of you. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, all Dublin. That was the smallest aircraft I've ever been on. <laughs> but at least it was a short flight. But we yeah, got through check-in pretty easy because it's already been done in Manchester. Arrived at the gate, gone through some more US customs checks. Pass for flying colours. Otherwise I wouldn't be standing here, but I'm still two hours away from the flight. But because of the delay in Manchester. It's actually shaved off an hour and Dublin airport is massive. I've got about two hours wait now to Philadelphia for the flight to kick off. And yeah, we'll see what part two arrives and we'll also check out the hotel which I'm staying at. So stay tuned a little bit later on on NFTV. I say a little bit later on, it's probably going to be nine, ten hours. 